Hello everybody and welcome back to Sonic Cat Plays Adam RPG. This is episode 38. As always, now that I'm caught up, now that it's been a couple of days and I've uploaded these and checked out your comments, let's do some comment shoutouts real quick. Saint of Bacon uh, was number one fastest man alive on watching one of the videos and you watched it too fast and it hadn't even rendered yet. So he got 360p and thought that was a problem, which I found funny. He was just, he was on the button. He was just, he... Just did it the moment it came up. Styx is letting me know that I should head back to Red Fighter because I have ammo and we can do some crafting there. I am going to go there. I am going to be on my way there. Uh, Saint of Bacon also has been telling me about uh, Games Connect not work. In, uh, I'm not sure what language that is. I'm going to assume that's Polish, maybe? Very interesting. Dragon Strider uh, tells us that we can't enter the radio bunker, but we're going to prove him wrong in just a minute. And Mr. Nobody tells me that I should equip a magnifying glass and smoke two cigarettes before before playing Adam RPG. No, he says do that before I try to craft a pistol because it'll actually up your tinkering and I'll have a better chance at that. That's a good tip. That's a hot tip. We're going to go in and just instantly prove him wrong like I've been saying the whole time. We're gonna be fine. Uh, it does actually appear as though the entire facility is flooded with poison, just pure poison. But we're gonna we're gonna walk in there and have no problems. Watch this. Our toxicity is at forty three out of a thousand. Here we go. Uh, yeah. Open the door, please. Are you kidding me? Get yeah, please. Hello? You're- oh my goodness. Sorry, I forgot to start my timer. I was having kind of a bad day today. I'll tell you about it in a second. Oh, we're instantly in combat. No! Oh god. Okay, I am poisoned. That was fast. Almost dead. I can't- I'm not gonna be able to make it to the rat. Ah, uh, skip the turn. Yeah! <laughs> Alex being- okay, we're actually the most poisoned. So we're gonna die. Uh, we're pretty much- yeah, we're so- yeah, we're dead. Um, hey, that was great. That was a great run. Uh, we tried as hard as we could. Uh, but unfortunately, it just looks like there's- there's gonna be nothing that we can do about this. Right now. Unless one of these dudes has a gas mask. What are the chances that someone in here has the gas mask I need? Okay, we died. It's uh, occurred to me that it may be possible that we cannot do this area right now. Hold on. Let's do let's do a story check. Maybe it's like a lore thing. If there was one body that maybe had a gas mask on or something else, then maybe no. They all super died, and I guess anyone who had had a gas mask would not have died here. Damn it. We may actually not be able to get in there at all. I don't think we have any drugs that they're gonna help us here. Because one is... Yeah, that's just minus radiation and that's just rad resistance. Okay. Okay, well, turns out RL Dragon Strider was right and no, we're not gonna go in there because we can't right now. Not until we find a fancier gas mask. So, a little bit of change of plans. I thought I had this episode figured out. You see, before I do my recording, I sit down and I think, and I'm like, well, you know, what should I do? What should I do for today's episode? What, you know, what do I think I want to tackle today? And today, I had already, I had already had it settled. I was going to go into that bunker and handle business, you know, as we do. Um, but now, I don't know what to do. So, this is currently off limits until we get a fancier gas mask. Uh, he wanted me to deal with some journalist who's digging some information about him. Rest stop six. 
we could do that. Uh, we could go back to the circus. We still, we're doing these two quests right now. And so, yeah, let's head to Red Fighter first. And then we'll kind of figure the rest out as we go. Uh, also, I think we're supposed to go back to the Roaring Forest because um, someone was letting me know about it. Some kind of a beast that was down there that I did not kill or handle last time. So we got a couple of different projects on the books. You have garbage. What are you guys doing? You're the worst tra- All the just guys just carrying a- Like a single crossbow bolt? Oh my goodness. Okay. So on the way to Red Fighter. I was- I was saying early, uh, in the beginning of this episode that I was having a real bad day. So, my mobile game that I play, I've played this mobile game for like two and a half years. It had an update today, and I was so excited because they were putting a bunch of features into the game that uh, people had requested for a long time, and it just it seemed really exciting and everything. And uh, so I loaded it up this morning, and then found out that basically everything in the game is broken. And like, you can't play the game properly, it has a ton of errors, it like, it kicked me out of the quest, I was in the whole thing, so I just, I just gave up. Uh, so, we need to- uh, hold on, hold on. I made the same mistake last time, I'm not gonna make this a third time. I would just walk in and tell them to fix something, and then realize that I couldn't go down to the basement, and I needed to do that, to pick up the ammo that we had crafted previously. So let's do that before we tell him to improve it, and then he locks the door on us. So we had told this guy to make us some bolts before. The man is leaning on the machine, yeah, uh-huh. Oh, did he make them for us already? I thought he told us to come back. Or maybe he puts it in storage? Uh, automatic, uh, hunting rifle. Uh, hunting rifle rounds. 76254. Four piles of scrap metal, four heaps of waste paper, four gunpowder. Let's... okay. This is, this is all very confusing. How much scrap? No, 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 we can't. Oh, we can't get rid of scrap metal because we need to give it to that guy. But we can, you know, we'll just find more. That's fine. So eight scrap metal, eight this, and eight paper will be enough for two. So let's hunting rifle round seven zero two five four. Give him the required resources. Oh, he put him in a box nearby? Oh wait, he only did the one. No, 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 no. Did I choose the wrong option? Uh, the woman's busy with some kind of housework. When she notices you, she smiles sheepishly. And remember, we sent her here in the last episode. Hey, what's up? All's well, thanks for asking. Do you have anything to eat? Yeah, sure, check the freezer. I left some food in it. Uh, freezer, freezer, freezer. Here we go. Let's see, we got two cans of meat. I, no. Someone's trying to get a hold of me, and I still don't want to talk to them right in the middle of recording. Oh my god. They tried to call me three times, back to back to back. Find something else to do with your time. Uh, okay, so let's check this, because I don't think I had ever checked all these. We got just a tiny bit of food, which is not, not the best thing ever, but it's also not the worst, I guess. What is this? Oh, it's a mannequin that maybe I can hang armor on and he wears it? Oh wait, don't we have the gym? Where's the gym? Is this the gym? Is... no, no. Oh, there, wait, here we go. Found it. Just over in the corner. Before you, there's a heavy old barbell with weights lined next to it. The plates are painted with red numbers that show 15, 30, and 40s. Uh, change the weight of the barbell. Look the gym over. The room for sports and active rest is tiny, smelly, and badly lit. However, since there's apocalypse right outside the door, you can't find anything to feel bad about in your own private little gym. That's cool. Okay, let's change the weight. 80 kilos. Start using the barbell. You cannot lift it. Okay, stop training. Let's change the weight. 60. 
start using it. Uh, and you cannot lift it. Okay, let's try it at the lightest weight. Gotta start somewhere. 30. Perfect. You lie down and put your hands on the barbell. You take a deep breath and breath and easily lift the thing off its railing. Sweat forms on your forehead. Wait, it says you easily lift it, but then you're like sweating. Okay, sweat forms on your forehead, veins in your arms start to pulse and your muscles fill with heat. But you wish to achieve the goals of top strength and endurance to make you lift it once more. And again, and again, around 20 minutes pass before you finally get off the bench. You'll, you vow to get back. You've done everything you can today, so you'll get back to it some other day. Okay. Uh, that didn't give us any short-term bonus yet, but maybe it will in the future. Cool. Let's take off here. We'll tell him to uh, start work on the next thing, which is... Uh, bedroom. Oh, there's only one more. Do that. Come back in three days. All right, I think that's part of like the shower and that kind of thing. Uh, let's maybe wait for a caravan to see if we can get one to appear. Because we're here. Car no, no caravan. 12 hours. Caravan time. Look at that. Ask and ye shall receive. I think I need cans. There we go. Hello, gentlemen. How are you today? I am fine, thank you. Yo, this dude has guns. This dude has guns. I am so excited. Uh, let's see, he has a little bit of money, but mostly he has guns. No toolkit, right? Nope. Alexander, my guy. Oh, you're using a gun now. Oh no, that's not my guy. Alexander, there you are. I was like, oh, hey, cool, you started using a gun. That's rad. I'm an idiot. Okay. This can be sold. This can be sold. These three can be sold. The helmet, the double... Oh, wait, you need one of those. Uh, let's see. Let's check bolt. Let's, let's just, you know, let's just walk through it because I haven't seen these in a while. The RPD is just an automatic. It's probably going to do a shitload of damage. Uses an ammo type that I don't like. And we can't use it anyway. Maybe uh, Alexander at some point in time, but not right now. AK-74U is an automatic. 7 to 14 damage. And there's no penalty for close range. 7 to 14. This is 8 to 18 automatic. So this is also automatic, but you do get penalty close range. 4562. 4552. You can burst fire this with only 5 AP. That's so good. Yeah, we're definitely taking that. That's crazy. Okay, so let's pay him the difference, and we're running a little bit low on money now. Close. Perfect. Okay, so we got the 7-4-U. Hexagen is using the AKMS, which is, is perfect. The AKMS is great for him. Super high damage. No penalty. This is actually better than the AK-74U. Were we... No, no. He was going to go automatic. So that's fine. We'll give him that automatic. Because on his very next level, he should be able to use it right away. <clears throat> okay, check this out. Hold that. I don't care if you use it right now. Ooh. He is using it. Okay, perfect. The situation is perfect, except for one thing I just realized. You're going to use that, and you're going to run out of ammo instantly. I'm sorry, I was just so fuzzy on what we've been doing and what we were supposed to do just now. Uh, <clears throat> because, like I said, it's been a couple of days since I... Because I recorded three all at once. I'm going to need to cut that part way down. <clears throat> okay, so... We did Red Fighter. We need to go to Rest Stop 6, and we need to stop by the Chigurov guy. And the Chigurov guy is here. Oh. That's where we need to go anyway. Or was it Rest Stop 10? You know what? We're just going to hit them both. Do I want to go this way? Yeah. Yeah, let's just go down that way. <clears throat> Why not? 
It'll be fun. We'll do a little wilderness traveling. We'll get some EXP from a bunch of bandits. More than likely, this walk is going to take the rest of the episode just with the encounters and everything else, and that's fine. We need the EXP. Wow, I can't believe... Slavers! Let's go, boys. My favorite fight. Ooh, especially when you just run up to me with a knife. Oh! Oh, and the first one goes down like a ton of bricks. Fidel, this is you, buddy. Fidel, end his shit. But don't shoot your teammate who is standing in front of you. I just, I'd see. Missed. Ooh, they didn't miss. They did not miss. Okay. What do we want to handle? I don't like those two guys. That guy has a knife. I want to close the gap on this guy. My team should be able to handle... Oh! Oh, that guy is dead as shit. All right, yeah. Perfect, perfect. He doesn't... He won't have a chance to shoot yet. Ooh. Ooh. Oh, my team's getting fucking spicy right now. All right. Let's... We could... Ah, uh, because... Th no, this guy shot us already. It doesn't matter. So, burst fire. Oh, almost dead. You ain't feeling it, are you? You ain't feeling good at all. Stabbed. Oh my god, we got him. Took him out. Get dusted. Who's still over here? You better run for your goddamn life. Yeah, use the tree. Great defense. They're coming for you right now. They- I'm gonna- I'm gonna pass my turn. I don't have to do anything. I don't have to, I was worried that he was gonna randomly take like a 90 damage crit and I would have been looking like a, an idiot. Pass? Come on, guys. Can you- There we go. Oh, he's still fun. I like how Alexander has to walk within an inch and a half of that guy to be able to- oh, There's someone else here! Oh! That makes me thrilled. Oh, you- you ain't- Alright, goodbye! Yep. Damn, everyone reloading in unison. You guys are ballers. Holy shit, they got dusted. All right. Oh, this going to be good. This going to be a lot of stuff. We don't need any of this. Right. Like, in my head, I'm just running over my checklist of, like, do we need this? Do we need this? Do we need this? And I just realized, because I'm an idiot, why we had such low accuracy attacking that guy because we're wearing our gas mask instead of our bear mask come on Ever, anyone that's such a rookie mistake taking your bear mask off uh i am so sorry guys this is embarrassing perfect also uh if you could just hold on to that forever that'd be great i only use it on you guys i promise it's healthy maybe i don't know killed me once but you're, you're probably fine Oh, we're at max health. Neat. Uh, yeah, but no, seriously, I had- I used Kasperamid in, fifth, like, 10 episodes ago or 15 episodes ago, and I didn't realize that it, like, it lowered your- our strength or something, and we were in some situations where we needed that strength, and because of that, I had to reload a game and go way further back. And I remember being very upset. Very, very upset. We're being uh, attacked by bandits, but their attack is so unattacky that we're gonna get the jump on them. Well, we're not gonna get the jump on them because that would that would uh, suggest that we could actually get the first attack. But what we're gonna do is, you know, start the fight when we want to start it on our time, and that time is right now. Oh, mistake. Hmm, melee weapons out. Your guys with guns are way back there. I don't give you good odds. Oh, missed. Oh, it was Alexander. That makes sense. You missed? Yeah, with the hole in your chest? Did I miss? Right there, standing two feet away from you? No. Go ahead. <gasps> that guy has an RPD. That, okay, okay. Problem, boys. We have a small problem on our hands. You guys just are... They just ran out of out of combat. Okay. You. Ever no, just everyone. Everyone needs to go for that guy. I was gonna have some people go for the people to my left, but no, I can't. 
Um, I need to get close to this guy. And I'm gonna pray that he doesn't just eat me alive with that. Okay, we're okay. We're okay. Wait, maybe I shouldn't be closing the gap at all. Maybe they can just handle him with rifles and I can go for someone else. But if I leave my guys to go for him, the problem is he is gonna... He is gonna wreck their shit. So I need to get him to keep attacking me. Oh, that wasn't so bad. Come on, guys, focus. Focus, focus, focus. I need someone to actually be able to... Amazingly... We have wasted, like, what, four turns? Because he's just been in what apparently is the the most amazing, perfect cover uh, known to man. Oh, you're out of bullets. I'm suddenly... You're dead. And I'm suddenly no longer worried at all. Besides that guy that's kind of still annoying. So I'm going to have... Wait. Hold on. You guys aren't even attacking him. What? Now I'm actually confused. Did I do something wrong? Why are they not... Go for him instead. I don't know why they're doing that. That is very strange. I'm very confused. Yeah. Now what are my rifle guys gonna do? Fidel, just shake it off. Now they shoot. I'm real confused. Because they were not attacking him at, and I can't believe that last move was, was because of cover. That's very strange. Maybe it was just my and his position forced him and then the entire rest of the time it was just, oh, well, you're toast. Don't go down, Fidel. Oh, phew. that's really unfortunate when that happens to your gun, right? When you're trying to not be murdered. Oh, those shots are worth a lot of money. I'd really appreciate if you didn't miss them. You see? Not hard. Oh, you are... Wow. Was still alive. 108 crit in the eyes. We got a level. Holy shit. This team is rad. I am, this team's coming together. It's glorious. Old gas mask. I don't want anyone to wear it, but it may be actually worth a fair bit of money. So we will take it. Perfect. Thank you so much. I appreciate it. I appreciate that and everything he does for our group. Oh, it's glorious. Let's take that. Oh, he had two maxed impacts too? Damn. That guy had a shitty suit of armor for that gun he was carrying. Okay, Alexander. Check it out, my guy. This is what you're going to be using later. Well, maybe not with that ammo type, actually. I remembered I had said that earlier and then I forgot that I said that. Ooh, buddy. But that's gonna be worth a lot of money. Oh, I like the army hat. I guess I can sell that one now. Because this is just better. Cool. That's fine. Let's go back. Let's go to the end over here and then let's do our level and figure out how we're gonna allocate these points. Although I'm pretty sure we're just putting them all into rifles and shotguns. Yeah. So we can now use some stuff that we couldn't before, for sure. And we have seven points. We could... <clears throat> no, we don't want to do skills that are just like a... a just a, a point gain. We want to... We want to do stuff that that gives us effects that are outside of just stats. 50% chance to ignore armor in close quarters. I still like melee. I think I'll just take that, honestly. Like, I could start going down there, or... 
But I kind of like the melee, and our character is our character, and whatever. We'll figure it out. So we can use a rifle now. I think. Depending. Depending on the skill requirement, six strength, which we do not have. Yet. Actually, once we start doing the regular uh, lifting weights, we won't have any problem with that. So we could actually try that again. I'm encumbered. Okay, take the hat. Obviously, the hat weighs a lot. Take the meat. Take the other hat. Let's give him, like, 15 more. Perfect. Okay, we'll try the rifle again in this next combat that we have going on. And we'll see how we do. Um, again, we may just not be able to use it at all until we get our regular strength buff from the gym. And that's fine, because again, our character's not great. We're just trying to make do with what we're kind of finding and learning and everything. So it's just kind of a fun mess. I don't remember seeing a lot of rain ever in this game. Oh, you become a witness to a heated argument between two parties that's sure to end in violence. We're intervening. We remember this one from last time. We should let more of the uh, good guys die so we can step in and then loot. Wait, everyone is hostile. Okay, um, I mean, in this case, guys, just kill whoever you want, I guess, if you want to kill people. It's kind of a free-for-all. I don't know what else to tell you. Oh, that guy's dead. Oh, did I? Oh, I thought I had a chance to hit that guy from all the way back here. I was going to say, wow, that was impressive. Oh, wait, but I can shoot from here. Wow, they are just... What do you guys do? What made you so mad? That you're just stabbing each other. Well, he's dead. Uh, we should kill this guy soon. Just so he doesn't waste all his ammo. Because, like, I want, I want the ammo. Can I hit him from here? Oh, wait, I can hit this guy from here? Let's go for a 30% chance. Let's... Make it happen! Ah! Missed. It didn't happen. Wow. He's almost dead. He's gonna die. Get him! Get him! Don't let him waste any more of his ammo! Oh, come on. Oh, he's dead. Perfect. Now kill that guy so we waste less of his ammo. Oh, no. You were supposed to hit that one. Uh, we can go three spots forward. Okay, let's do it again. 31% chance. I feel it. Okay. Oh, he's out of ammo anyway. Well, you're both dead. Wow, he actually lived for a second. Okay, well. I think we at least know now that we can use this gun. It seems like... um. Like, we won't really have too many problems there. I just realized I probably should have gone here because of the extra crit for rifles if I'm really... Yeah, and there's no way to undo perks. Well, this will be 30 levels from now. It's just going to be so expensive. Uh, there's no way anytime soon that that's ever happening now. Wow, really? 12 radiation? Ah, that's fine with me. I don't want any of that. That gun, however, is at least worth something. Yeah, this ain't so bad now. Get a couple of drugs. Get some of that. Get a gun or two that's worth at least a tiny bit. Oh my god, this guy had armor piercing rounds. Wait, did you drop a gun? He had bullets, but no gun that could use it. I just thought he, like, dropped it or something. Weird. Weird, but fine. We'll take it. Uh, which one of you guys is carrying all my shit? That would be you. Just again, making sure that none of this stuff has bullets. Because I do not want you trying to use it. You have your orders and your job and your weapon. Just to make sure you're doing it. Thank you, Alexander. How's that worm, by the way? How's that working out for you? 
Hey man, cut it out. That's not nice. I just imagine all the guys picking on him. How does it feel to be an alien worm monster man? Guys, that really hurts my feelings. Um, why are we in combat? What? 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 What's happening? What is... What? We just got here and this guy just got instantly murdered by wolves. And there was... Well, the journalist problem, I guess, just solved itself. Uh, I don't know what to do. Oh. I, I know what to do. We're gonna kill a bunch of wolves, I guess. I'm not sure if that was supposed to happen or if that was just like weird game game stuff, like beta game stuff happening. Don't you dare shoot me. All right, this is my time to shine. This is my time to shine. 32? Okay, it wasn't my time to shine yet, but you'll see. You just shot Alex right in the back. Wow, even Alex got a kill. Holy shit, now I really feel bad. Well, I guess we're taking everything because it's gonna put us overweight either way. Okay, well, that whole thing was bizarre. Pick that. Okay, uh, again, I don't know if it, I mean, let's see. Even if he had survived that pack of wolves, Yeah, even if he had survived, there's no way that we would have been able to get to him in time. Yeah, there's just no way. Um, he has a backpack that's way better than that. We'll just end up selling it. Um, this guy is dead though, which... Which means that the quest is either broken now forever, or we did it. Oh, I didn't have to do anything about the journalist. He was already mauled by wolves when I found him. I need to report. Okay. So that quest, that part solved itself. That was really convenient. But that also means that that was not the place that we were supposed to meet that guy, the hobo. Where is that guy? Hold on. Radio Bunker, Krasno, Old Castle. No. Loner named Ricard who lives near the site of an ancient car crash. I, I was there. I. Not the old scrapyard. Not the old bridge. Oh my god, I'm losing my damn mind. I've, I've, I'm just gonna stop at all of them until I find it. Because I am just so so confused as to where I had seen that guy that I just don't know. I don't I don't know what to believe anymore. Man, I need that gas mask. Maybe it's possible a traitor in Krasno. Oh no, you guys are fucked. I'm on the warpath right now. You guys picked the wrong day. You guys picked the wrong day. Also, you're wearing no armor. I will pray for your souls, which are about to be released from your bodies. Forcibly, I might add. Oh. All right, so he's almost dead. This is gonna be my kill right now. Here we go, first one. I shot him in the back. We're good at rifles. Sorry, Alex. Sorry, Alexander, that was my bad. In the back here, in the back, Sonicat in the back here. Yeah, I did that, my bad. Sorry. This is why we're called the Friendly Fire Bandits. It just, it makes, how did you miss from that range? I mean, I know you're bad, you're not great with it yet, but I thought that, okay, here we go. Here's headshot, we're just going headshot, headshot. Let's do it. 19 damage. It's not bad for our, st our starter shot, I guess. I honestly think that more than likely we'll go back to the um, the other gun. Ooh, let me get in on this. Let me get in on this. Aim to six, so we can move three closer. Let's move three here. 
And let's save. Headshot. Yeah. Oh, you shot Alexander in the back for like a lot of damage. Like a lot of damage. Headshot. Okay, yeah, so we're gonna go back to the uh, the the other gun that we had because we just it's I would have to be literally standing on top of them pretty much to make that gun work So we're still not quite there yet, but we're getting there. We're getting there Alexander that's uh That was an impressive bullet that you took He was gonna be way more dead than that, but he used a stim pack um Right after he got shot. I'm sorry, Alex. I shot you in the back too that round. That was honestly that was my bad. I don't know. Uh, I don't know what I was thinking on that one. It was just careless. It was just careless. Also, I'm just I'm just learning how to use this thing. It goes all over the place. It's really hard to control, Alex. And after that day, no one wanted to stand in front of Sonicat ever again. Trade, please hold it. Okay. And we are just about at time, and it's a huge bummer that, no, we're not. We're not actually at time, because I just remember that in the beginning of this, I did a whole bunch of sorting out of my inventory to try and straighten things out, and I remember that took a long time. And so if I cut a bunch of that out at the beginning of this video, uh, I think we're actually still good to go for, like, one more encounter, I would say. I'd say one more encounter. The brick box bandits always. Every cave. No cave is safe with them on the prowl. Also, I just noticed it's very quiet. The music just, the ambient music just failed to load in that cave. There it is. I just was like, suddenly it's like eerie quiet in this cave and I feel like I can hear myself a lot more than usual. Okay, so let's, we're gonna real quick run in here. Real, just take like a single step. I'm just gonna cut straight to the guy that sells uh, gear and equipment to see if maybe he'll have a gas mask. And then we're gonna leave and go straight for that rest stop. Hey, what's going on, dude? I, look, I just got back from the wasteland. I just Im imagine my guy like just opening up his rucksack and just dumping a load of junk onto the table. Just like a giant, just imagine a giant sack that someone is hanging over the back. They just like open it up and like you dump all your laundry onto your bed when you're about to fold it. Just imagine that, but dumping all of this metal shit, all of these guns, eight tins of coffee, just all of this garbage right onto him. And he's like, hey, hi, yeah, uh, okay. I guess just dump it all here, that's fine. Uh, okay, so let's take cash for this. This is really not very much cash for any of this. I think because we're trading in Krasno, to be honest. But I really just would like to get rid of that stuff. He's carrying. If we ever need to buy any of those guns, we we know who has a ton of guns. All right, I'm just gonna cut out to the street and we'll continue. Okay, so we're back out here. Let's go stop here again. I I am so confused as to how I because I thought this was just a radioactive car. I thought this was just a radioactive car and that's all that was here. Because that is. Because it is, I'm not crazy. This guy isn't here. Oh my goodness. How did I mess this up so bad? Right, yeah, that's why I didn't want to come back here because of the radiated car. Horrific. Okay. Let's just, let's stop for a second. This car crash is just two cars out in the middle. No, that's the tanker. Okay, we're just gonna go to this one too. I, I at this point, I have no idea. I have no idea where that old hobo guy that was yelling about, you know, the conspiracy, I have no idea where he is. <clears throat> it said near the site of an ancient car crash. You feel sick, you vomit and feel very weak. Well, yeah, that's because we're radiated. Fidel, my drug, my drug guy. Perfect. <clears throat> Do you guys have anything that I care about for any reason? You have a nice helmet. Oh, you have an RPD. Why do you have an RPD? 
You know, I thought maybe just like there was a chance. That and that and yeah, we would have gotten so much more money if we had just traded traders outside. But it's fine. Uh, speaking of thunder, today in Los Angeles, it has been just crazy amounts of rain. Uh, that's fine. You can have the uh... thunder and rain all day today. Crazy amounts. So loud. Shaking the house. You know, I imagine if you were uh, in a larger skyscraper in downtown LA or anything, you were definitely feeling it. Oh, we stole a super stimulant. And we nine rounds. Wow. Uh, Kasperamid. Okay. Wheel of Cheese. He caught us on the Wheel of Cheese. Don't get... It sounds like a game show. Don't get caught on the Wheel of Cheese. Come on down. Dun -dun -dun. Dun -dun -dun. Our next contestant on the Wheel of Cheese. Like they spin it. Like the... Uh, <laughs> what was that? Uh, the Price is Right. The giant wheel. They like spin it. Do -do 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 -do. It just spins for 22 years. Okay, we found where this guy was. I don't even remember what he wanted at this point. It was a biscuit, tea, and I i don't know. I don't remember what the last thing is, but we're going to hope that we have it when we talk to him. I know we have the tea. I know we have the biscuit. But at some point, I just forgot what all of the things that he was asking for were. Um... I came here looking for a mutual friend. Uh, some crackers, canned food, and tea. Right. We have all that. Okay. Are you carrying some of that? Uh, crack. Let's just take the crackers. Crackers, canned food. Canned food, canned food. You don't have any of that, but I know uh, Hexogen has all our canned food. I think it's Hexogen. Hexogen, buddy, we're going to need you to... Um, yeah, over here. Please, everyone, everyone on the team, if you could all report to the campsite. There you go. Just needed to chat with you for like two seconds. One. Perfect. I have it. Let's discuss. Here, damn food for your spirits. The man accepts your generous gifts. Come on, be more polite. The spirits are easily offended. Close your eyes and you'll hear your answer. You obediently, albeit with irritation, close your eyes. The forest hermit clears his throat and begins to groan, trying hard to distort his voice beyond recognition. Right. He's doing this so he doesn't have to feel the guilt of telling you directly by selling his buddy out. Oh-ho, we are the spirits. We've seen Chigarov. He came here a couple of days ago. He entered the forest with money and then left with three dynamite sticks. This is how I imagine him doing this in my head. He's like trying to sound like a, a lofty spirit ghost. The friend of the forest sold him the dynamite. Why does he need them? He always tried to avoid murder and never blew anything up. But listen, child, I'm overcome with doubt. The man in Foglevka sent us to find a criminal, a robber. But according to his acquaintance, this Chigarov is actually a nobleman. Maybe it wasn't wise to disclose the information acquired here to get that cruel investigator. Wait, 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 what? So you aren't his friends? Like, I just imagine he dropped the voice. Wait, 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 what? <clears throat> Are you after him? Come on, guys, what the hell? Don't rat Chigarov out. He's such a good man. He's such a good boy. That's what I've been trying to say, my wild friend. Okay, fine. Amazing. Thanks for the info. Perfect. Quest log updated. So let's do that. Uh, and while they're running, <clears throat> Richard and I had a talk. I should report back to the lawman who's spending his time in the local tavern. But are we still missing? Are we still missing someone to talk to through the pass? The circus, find a starter in the carburetor. Those are, yeah. Right, right, right. We still need to go. Okay, this is what we'll do. We'll go to the old castle. We'll do the, uh... Let's see, that's Fog Levka. Yeah, we'll do that. In the next episode, because now we are at time. Dun dun dun! In the next episode, you'll see Sonic Cat. I mean, the lightning strike was perfect. You'll see Sonic Cat go take on Fog Levka and the old castle and the pass of woes.
Um, but on a very real note, this was episode 38. Sonic Cat plays Adam RPG. If you guys, uh, you know, could drop a comment down. Let me know what you think. Let me know what you thought. You know, I enjoy talking to you guys. And as always, see you next time in uh, episode 39. Burn bright, guys.